In this video, I'm going to talk about comparing some Dutch food with some English food. So apparently what British expats miss the most is their, their local pubs, their fish and chips, but not so much the miserable weather, even though I argue it wouldn't be much better in the Netherlands, and miserable people, particularly politicians. Well, let's start by comparing some foods, and I'll start off by breakfast and then slowly work my way up to dinner and then have a look at how the food in the pubs or in restaurants is different. Despite the fact that I've been in the UK for seven years, I still stick to my Dutch breakfast. And that involves sandwiches and more sandwiches, and also sandwiches for lunch, to be honest. So on my sandwiches, I would often have something sweet. So here I would look at, for instance, hagelslag. So these are these little like chocolate sprinkles that go on top of your bread. Or something like, for instance, uh, peanut butter. Now, if you look at the English breakfast, the only thing I can kind of compare it to is maybe something like you have toast and marmite. And for me, it would be an easy win here if I compared it to, I definitely stick to my Dutch breakfast. But maybe what people are more used to is the traditional English breakfast. And obviously we know that English people don't have this every day, but this would be the bacon, sausages, eggs, mushroom, tomatoes, hash browns, beans, and black pudding. It's almost like an endless list of supplies. In the Netherlands, you never really get that far. So you would kind of stick to maybe some scrambled eggs and some toasts and perhaps something a bit simpler. If it's just your breakfast in the weekend, I would definitely prefer the Dutch version. Just a bit simpler and more than enough to keep you ticking until lunchtime. But every now and then, I would, every, maybe every couple of months, I would appreciate a really nice English breakfast. Now think about what happens when you get to lunchtime. So I realize at work what you normally get for an English lunch would be some sandwiches. So in that case, it's not that different from your Dutch lunch. But you would always have some crisps on the side and perhaps even like a little biscuit or like a cake. So the English lunch definitely tends to be a bit more elaborate compared to a Dutch lunch, where you would often just have um, more sandwiches with cheese and that's about it. And the other thing, which is quite unusual um, in the Netherlands, it would be quite common to have milk for lunch, for instance. One thing which is a bit in between breakfast and lunch or dinner, and you can really have it at any time of the day, and definitely very common for students, is beans on toast in the UK. So I can imagine this is great when your cupboards are running empty and all you have is some uh, bread and some beans. But in the Netherlands, this is completely unimaginable and we could never even think of having that. So the next thing I will compare when it comes to dinner is your very elaborate Sunday roast in the UK versus what I guess is a Dutch alternative, maybe, stampot. So stampot is really, for, for those of you who don't know what it is, um, it's like a smoked sausage and then it can be like mashed potatoes and mashed vegetables. So... In the UK, you would have this kind of mashed potatoes as well, but you would have like a really nicely well done pie or you could have Yorkshire pudding to rid of all the trimmings that go with it. So I think you can tell from um, what I'm saying here that I definitely prefer the UK version. So in the Netherlands, there's a lot of very heavy food. Uh, for instance, we have snert, which is a type of pea soup as well that we tend to have when it gets really cold outside. But we don't have something as such like an elaborate Sunday dinner as you would see in the UK. Now, we've looked at breakfast, lunch and dinner. But I think a big comparison is also between looking at how we eat our chips. Now, if you would go to the pub, how would you get your chips? Now, you would have maybe in the UK your chips drowned in vinegar. Whereas in the Netherlands, they would be drowned in something which is mayonnaise. Or, for instance, like a peanut sauce, we call patatje order. Well, I have to say, I really don't like vinegar. So for me, I like the idea that, you know, your chips are nicely wrapped up in this kind of newspaper. Uh, but I really don't like the vinegar that goes with it. So for me, if I have to decide the Dutch alternative, which we call, depending on whether you're from the north or the south, uh, frietjes or patat, it's much better with mayonnaise. But if we take away the vinegar from the chips, I have to say I do really like really nice English pub food and also the atmosphere that you get in traditional English pubs. While I perhaps don't miss Dutch pubs that much, 
And what I do really appreciate there, in an English pub you tend to have, and when it comes to snacks, just some peanuts, maybe some pork scratchings, and that's about it. Whereas in the Netherlands, we, we would have uh, bitterballen, frikandelle, croquette, and they are so typical Dutch, I haven't seen them anywhere else. So definitely the snacks are much better when it comes to the Netherlands. Another thing you want to bear in mind is the beer. Well, there's a lot I can say about this because I lived in Belgium for quite a while as well. And the region where I'm from in the Netherlands is very close to Belgium. But imagine a massive pint of beer versus just roughly about half a pint that you get in the Netherlands. I guess it depends on what you go for. I prefer to drink much smaller volumes because I don't drink much beer anyway. But I can imagine why some people prefer like a proper pint to go with. And there are a lot of things that are maybe not perhaps like traditional food, but maybe I miss the candy the most. So definitely my licorice. Licorice, especially when you get a bit of like a sore throat and a really salty licorice, that's something that you just can't find anywhere. Um, you can find a type of licorice here, uh, which is mainly anise based. And in the Netherlands, we call this English licorice. Um, so it's not the real deal for me. And unfortunately, it doesn't quite substitute the really proper salty licorice that we have in the Netherlands. But I've been here for a while and there are things of the English food that I really appreciate. So this can be, for instance, a nice pie in the pub. It can be a curry you can get for a takeaway, which is very different than the traditional takeaway that you get in the Netherlands. Um, what I maybe like the most in the UK, and I really enjoy watching the Great British Bake Off, is just all the desserts that you have. Uh, so for instance, all the nice crumbles where you get the warm custard that goes over it, or something like, for instance, sticky toffee pudding. Nor the English nor the Dutch are really famous for their cuisine. So it's not perhaps the same as Italian food or French food. But I have to say there are definitely some things that I appreciate from both sides, like the desserts and the licorice that I mentioned before. So if you want to have a look at some other strange Dutch habits or as an expat, what I think of funny UK habits, then please have a look at these videos.